Anyone is in the lab, I need rotavaps. It's always the battle of the rotavaps in the morning. Oh, just got stuck in the door. Happy Tuesday. Yeah, there's a rotavap for me. I'll use this one. Hello, good morning, happy Tuesday. I am in the lab. I didn't chat much yesterday because it was honestly just such a busy day. I don't know why, but when it's Monday, for some reason, I like to just try and come in and do as much as possible so the rest of my week can be a bit more relaxed. But then it means that I get quite stressed during the day and I'm literally running around all day non-stop on my feet. So I was pretty tired last night and I actually went to bed at like half past nine. But anyway, today should hopefully be a bit more chill. I'm going to be cleaning my vials from the MPLC. So the MPLC is that instrument that you saw yesterday with all the, all the test tubes and the chromatogram, the, the same instrument I was using last week. So that's just to purify one of my samples. Um, so I need to clean all the vials from that today and clean the column and I'm going to continue drying the fractions that I collected from the MPLC. And if anyone is a chemist and works with large volumes of solvents, you will know that drying off your solvents in the rotavap is like one of the main things that takes up your time <laughs> doing a project. So in natural products chemistry, we have large volumes of solvents, which we need to evaporate off in order to leave just the solids behind. Um, and we do this using the rotavap, which you've seen, you put the round bottom flask, it twirls, it twirls, solvent evaporates off, but it takes a long time, especially if you have water and especially if you're fighting for rotavaps. So thankfully there's two rotavaps free this morning so far, so I'm going to jump on them, get my samples evaporating and try and get rid of some of these samples. Well, I don't mean get rid of them, but I mean get rid of them from the flasks and transfer them to their own storage vials. I also need to transfer some samples from the round bottom flasks to weighed vials so I can then take the weight of my samples. And I have some planning to do, so planning for future experiments for well later on in the week and for next week. So that's the plan for today. I'm going to take you guys along with me. Hope you enjoy. I'll chat with you later.
my things to dry. I'm going to clean the MPLC when I come back because no one needs to use it. But for now, I am going to get some breakfast because I'm very hungry. I'm going to give you a little tour of the campus on the way to the coffee shop to get my croissant. So I hope you enjoy. myself a cinnamon roll hopefully it's yummy that's my favorite little coffee shop that you saw there oh they're so nice and it's just a local little coffee shop it's not a chain or anything so now I'm heading back to the lab it's a horrible day as you might be able to see it's very like drizzly and gray Scotland for you so yeah I'm just going back to the lab I'm gonna have a little break have my tea gather my thoughts and then get back into the lab again Hello guys, it's Thursday today. I am incredibly tired. I was not in the lab yesterday for personal family reasons. Yeah, today I just feel so drained and so tired, but I'm going to try and power on. I am currently preparing a sample to do MPLC tomorrow and drying some of my fractions ready to be tested next week in my bioassay. And I also am on microbiology lab cleaning duty, so I will take you along with me this afternoon when I clean the lab. And that is it. it it might be an early finish for me today because like I say, I just feel like poop. <laughs> yeah, let's try and get through the day. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention that I came to the lab late today because I had a meeting with a collaborator. So I'm potentially going to France next year for about a month to test some of my compounds. Um, so that would be nice. So that would be in spring next year. So I was just speaking with the collaborators and now I need to find some funding for that trip um, But it's not for a while yet It will be in about springtime next year once I've managed to accumulate some more compounds to test using their methods in their lab So that's quite exciting Hello micro lab. It has been a while So I am here because I need to clean see all these little spots of rubbish on the floor I need to sweep the floor need to wash the floor, I need to generally just tidy up the mess. And that is my duty. And that's what I have to do for being on lab cleaning, micro lab cleaning duty. I also have to empty the waste for autoclaving tomorrow. And then, oh, there's something growing on someone's plate. Nasty. That shouldn't be growing. Um, Yes, so that's the plan. I'm just going to start cleaning and then after I've cleaned, I need to plan my work for next week. I have just realized that there is no brush in here, so I need to go uh, back upstairs and get a brush so I can sweep the floor. I found the brush, now let's start sweeping. <laughs>
all done. I am going to mop the floors tomorrow and I'll auto clave the waste tomorrow as well. Now back to the lab to check my samples and then to get planning for next week. It's the end of the day, it's four o'clock, I'm still here. I did my planning for next week and kind of organized my thoughts and my projects uh, down on paper and now I am still waiting for my samples to dry and then I will either go to the gym or go home So I will see you guys tomorrow I have bought myself a coffee And I'm vlogging in public and I'm very shy So I went to the same coffee shop that I showed you guys the other day instead of a cinnamon roll I got a coffee because I'm gonna sit down make a presentation for my meeting with my supervisor on Monday. Trying to take it relatively easy today and not completely burn myself out. And it is Friday after all, so why not relax a little bit? We also have our group meeting this afternoon and for the first time it's actually gonna be in person. Well, first time, oh, wind, how very rude. It'll be the first time since uh, before lockdown, so exciting stuff.